partly there was there was um, likely my husband would you would lose his job, and therefore we were um, looking at things what we could do otherwise, um, and we were hoping if things had worked out correctly that we could expand on it and have more branches of, of wine shops around the area probably. But uh, unfortunately the recession came in and we couldn't do so, we had to think twice. But it, uh, it's a very interesting subject um, and I had different wines from all over the world. It depends where the grapes are grown, the climate, the soil. Um, uh, if it's in a colder climate, often you can get more like champagne wines. But if you want the warmer climate, you can get the more fuller red wines. Personally, like the Merlot grape, which um, I find is, is quite nice, and a lot of ladies like that type of wine. The men often go for the Cabernet Sauvignon, which is a much more tart type wine. It's got a black currency taste. Um, the Chenin Blanc, a white one, is a very nice one. Yes, yes, I did have regular customers. I had a, um, a gentleman from the art college that used to come regularly. Um, some people would buy by the bottle, some people would buy by the case, um, depending how far away they lived. I visited several wineries and we went around the uh, vineyards. Um, we've also, that was in Bordeaux, I've been to um, Luxembourg in September when all the grapes were coming in for making the wine and, and we saw them coming in. Yes, it, yes, we did have some tasters, yes, very nice. And when we were actually in the one in, in Luxembourg, it was getting a bit misty in there and uh, the gentleman said, it's going to rain. And we thought, oh dear, because we were going back by bus and we had to walk to the bus stop. And we actually got soaked. <laughs> I like the freedom to be able to do what I wanted to do. Because uh, having worked before and after for other companies, you can't do what you like, you have to do what you're told. 